Welcome to Talking Sci-Fi. And your host and starring Sci-Fi Sean and Just Brand. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're doing Picard. On three, two, one. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm kidding. Go ahead. Welcome to This Is Talking Sci-Fi, another exciting episode filled with fun, lunacy, and craziness. Uh, I'm your host today, Sci-Fi Sean, with my sidekick. That's your cue, Randy. Oh, just Randy. And our special guest star uh, on screen today, Lori. Chop liver. Chop liver. Why are you gonna call yourself chop liver? We hate liver here at the Sardinsky. Liver and house. onions is good. Yeah. Okay. What? Liver and onions. Uh, let me guess. They have that on Star. So did uh, did y'all did, did you survive the election uh, process? Uh, even though it, even though it technically is not over at this point, but you know. I guess I did survive it. Yeah. yeah well, we won't talk about that because we don't do politics on here. Well, I took all my money out of the out of the stock market so well i'm a, i'm about to do the same thing you might be a little late, buddy you think so <laughs> no i've been i've been watching i watch that every day not that i have a whole bunch in there but anyway no so, politics no politics <clears throat> that's all we had for politics um i voted for uh, captain kirk i wrote it in as i always do so um in today's episode we're going to have a surprise uh kind of a uh, talk today uh, Randy has been pushing me for months now, almost a year, to watch the new Picard series that has come out on CBS All Access. Don't subscribe to it. Just wait until it comes out on the DVD. Is or, that what you did? Yeah, I waited for DVD. That's wow, what that took was me so long. Quick. Normally it takes I know. half a year to... Well, I did the same thing with Discovery, season one and season two, because yeah. I don't have internet here. I know, what? But I don't. We've discussed that before. But anyway... I've had a multitude, a multitude of my Star Trek friends tell me not to watch it. It was terrible. Um, my friend Paul pretty much uh, hates it, and uh, he's got a good, a lot of good points. So I boycotted it for almost a year. Randy has watched it. Other friends have watched it. Said you got to watch it. It's great. Matthew Pfeiffer, who is up in Pennsylvania, move out of Pennsylvania, Pfeiffer. They cheat up there. <laughs> anyway, um, just uh, he says it was fantastic, and he's actually gotten into some heated discussions right. with uh, people about it on the internet. So, let's talk about Star Trek Picard. Um, there's going to be some spoilers in this, so, but you know, I, I don't give a crap about Sean, spoilers. Sean, you're the last person on earth to watch it, believe me. I know, I know. So, no spoilers. All right, <laughs> let's start off with this. I didn't hate it. As much what? as I yes, as much as I said I was going to hate it, I did not hate Star Trek it. Picard. Lori loved it. The last um, episode we watched the other night had tears flowing down my face. It's like okay, yes. I can't wait for season two. Um, I, I don't think there's going to be a season two. There's no. No. Oh. You can't put. You can't f- go on with what that is with, with what happened at the You're end. Have to you know? because hello, Picard lives. There was a lot of things. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> technically he lives. Um, there was a lot of good connections with uh, not only Star Trek The Next Generation, but uh, Voyager. There was a lot of connections with that yeah. series because um, Voyager technically was the last Star Trek series that happens in this timeline. Now, I can't remember how far in advance in the future that Picard happens from, say, Voyager, but um, it happens obviously after Voyager returns home, after their seven eight run season you right, know yeah. so the, the technology is a lot different um there's a lot of virtual stuff they've obviously realized that the marvel movies and their technology have you gotta like, keep up yeah like with the screen floating in the air because the ship yeah. that what's the captain on there the 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 guy that left starfleet because he can't handle his chris. captain uh, something like that his name's chris <laughs> is it chris <laughs> anyway he has a virtual thing that flies their st- I guess it's a miniature starship, more of a frigate, I guess it would be. so. I think that the technology is catching up, and the whole idea, if we're in space flying around, we're going to have them see through screens. Yeah, I think so. The technology is going to yeah, be there for that, I agree. so I understand that. We have it kind of now, you know, yeah. virtually and all that stuff. Um, I was skeptical going in, 
but it it grabbed me quick. Did it? Yes. Which episode? Uh, the very beginning. Oh, really? Okay. I, I loved it all when right. when Picard was on his uh, family winery oh, and all that. Um, they connected mostly the entire series was connected to, unfortunately, things that happened in the first Star Trek reboot movie with the Romulans. Right. Yes. Um, because the Rom- Romulus's son blows up and mm-hmm. wipes them out, and this is kind of like a continuation, but. From what I have discussed with my Star Trek buddies that are hardcore uh, originalists say that that explosion happened in both universes. That's why Spock shifted over because it was happening oh. in the this timeline and then it skewed and went down to Damn this man. timeline. Right. The Back to the Future kind of a thing we've talked about. And there's a lot of Romulan presence in Picard. Um, <clears throat> things I did not like about Picard. Um, I didn't like the language. And, you know, I cuss a lot, you know, but in Star Trek... You don't say the MF word and things like that. Really? And that You didn't like that? I didn't like that at all. Uh-huh. No. Yeah. It, it bothered me when, when Picard went to talk to the Admiral, which was from Next Generation, right. yeah. and she said the F word and all that stuff. I'm like, that Shut was not... F up. Yeah, that is not professional. Because, no. you know, Starfleet is like this organization. Yeah, but wasn't she bad? Uh, not the first no, one he went no, to. Oh, okay. The, 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 uh, the uh, chief of You're security of over... Yeah. Uh, oh, she the, was bad. Who was actually a Romulan... Right, Tal Shiar. I like that they brought the Tal Shiar in because you know that's like a hard that's the that's Section Thirty One in the Romulan universe. Explain that a little bit. Section Thirty One is in the Starfleet universe. It's like a covert, undercover like government. CIA. Low, deeper than the CIA. It's like Men in Black um, kind of a situation where they they're trying to control the security of Starfleet. And they've been around for. Uh oh, Katie says hello. Um, <laughs> She doesn't. She doesn't like Section Thirty One. God, God. So they've been around for years, and um, and for them to bridge across, and they didn't mention Section Thirty One in Picard, but the Tal Shiar is their version right. from the Romulans. Um, I didn't like the brother that kept trying to hump everything that came along. I didn't like that the sister, the Romulan commander, was kind of. Incest kind of a situation incest, there. Yeah. That I didn't like that at all. But you know, I'm not a Romulan. That we could be. Yeah, that that could be, be in the Romulan their, race. We that don't know be that. Part of their society. But not in my Star Trek. <laughs> what? It, not in my Star Trek. <laughs> all know, right. I was, I was kind of set off that, and this one thing that you and I talked about a lot is that Chris, the pilot, yes, the pilot, uh huh, um, had this tattoo. Of a mermaid. He loved mermaids. We couldn't figure he out what was, was going fascinated on. Fascinated with with mythological creatures. Right. It said that towards the end, and he smoked cigars. Yes. In the future, you're not in supposed to future, smoke. In the future, I mean, because they're so bad for you. Nobody else had tattoos on them. No, except for Chakotay. Chakotay had tattoos, <laughs> and that's what we we talked about that. You know, but, so you know, it just it it kind of. But you look at it, he's got a big old nasty arm tattoo of a mermaid. And, you, and when they go to his quarters, they are panning around, and there's little All mermaid collectibles. Of, yeah. Yeah. And they, I wish they would have discussed that a little bit more. Well, and uh, what was what was the uh, Roz, Riz, the black lady? Oh, uh, love uh, JL. Yeah, JL. We um, like that too. When she was talking to Chris, and and she said, you know, I know that you're infatuated with mythological things, but this is not talking about the daughter right um this is not a mythological creature this is a creature that actually is alive oh okay you missed that yeah Did you, miss that? you go back we're gonna go watch it again i enjoyed i enjoyed it enough we're gonna watch it a second time yeah, oh yeah but i'm gonna tell you a couple of things i i did not like about it um the uh of course the language i didn't like that um they kind of insinuated and <clears throat> i have no problem with this that seven of nine was a, a lesbian or bisexual, you know? Did I you, didn't get that. Just, at the end, when, <laughs> when when she killed that lady, yeah, no, it was because that woman was infatuated with Seth. her technology, with the technology that was yeah. within not just her eye. <clears throat> But her entire body, and that woman, Sean was, was just in, looking for stuff. Was in fact, no, I'm not. This is just me. She I'm not was just looking. Infatuated with I, seven. I, I, yeah. And <laughs> how can you not be? It's Jerry Ryan, for God's sakes. I love her. I got goosebumps now just thinking about it. Anyway, at the end, you see what happened at the end when she was sitting there with 
Picard's buddy, and they were holding hands at the table. But that could have been like, oh, I, I understand. You know, it was like her hand was there in seven nine. It was like put her hand on it. You know, like maybe comforting her. Maybe I misinterpreted yeah. that. I mean, women again. I don't have any problem with it because seven of nine do that. Because Jerry Ryan, seven of nine, and a lesbian situation. Mm. I would be. I would pay money for that porn. So See, you know, guys. Guys don't yeah. caress each other. Oh, Kitty wants to women, say hello. Women caress each other, and it, oh, it doesn't oh. have to be sexual. We got Kitty here. She wants hey, to make her her weekly cameo oh. appearance. Oh, watch out! She's all wrapped up in the cord there. It's all right. She's wrapped up in it. Uh oh, something unplugged there, Randy. Did it? Something no, did. What is that? Oh, that's mine. That's my. That's, that's my you. mic. This is Kitty. She likes to say hello. KLS. KLS. Anyway, uh, other things I didn't like about it. Um, I'll tell you, no, before I get anything oh, else negative, God. let me tell you something that I absolutely loved. And my friend Paul and all my other people like flipped over all this stuff. They're going to hate this. There is a point where Seven of Nine gets plugged into the Borg ship, okay. like the Borg Queen. Yeah. When that happened, I about got excited in a lot of different ways because <laughs> I love the Borg. And I thought it was really awesome. Um, I liked how they referred to the Borg that were being unassimilated. I guess would be the word is the yeah. XBs. I yeah. thought that was cool. Yeah, that's you know, because cool. X Borg. And and even Seven said it. She I'm an XB. Is, I'm an XB. Yep. Mm-hmm. What are you supposed to just leave me behind too? Yeah. I wish they would have talked a little bit more about Voyager, about what happened when they got home and all that, because that was like kind of a big hanging in the air at the end of Voyager. I did not like that they killed off three that I remember main characters from Next Generation and Voyager. They killed Hugh, which was a mainstream, uh, made a difference in the Next Generation universe. Yeah. They killed off Echeb, which is a mainstream Borg from Voyager. Seven Nine just brutally yeah. shot him, but he begged. She, yeah, she yeah. Put, him he begged her, put him out of his misery. And uh, Maddox, Maddox, Bruce Maddox, because Bruce Maddox, yeah. he is the reason why Data was not sent into slavery in the first or second season of Next Generation. I wish they wouldn't have done that. Um, I loved it that they put uh, um, Dr. Soon's grandson in there, Brent Spiner. I thought that mm-hmm. was really awesome. Yeah. I'm glad that they put Data in there like they did, and how they had the put, clo- put closure, closure on, on Data because yeah. you know Data. It's all about Data saving mm-hmm. Picard's life. That whole because, and that's another Star Trek movie which was Insurrection, right? Or no, Nemesis. The Nemesis. Nemesis. Yes. yes. So I like that. There was a lot more I liked about it than I thought that I would. What about you, Randy? What did you think? Because you're not a big Star Trek fan, but you know, and I'm trying to watch all these different things, so I don't know all the backstory behind it. Right. But I absolutely love it. Right. I think it is fantastic. It's just, it's like I I don't know how to explain it. I can. It's action packed, and you like action packed right. stuff. There you go. You don't like cerebral stuff. I like the new Star Treks, and I like Picard, and I like the second season of Discovery. Um, I thought putting Riker and Troy in it was a mistake. Really? I, yeah, I don't think they, I don't want to use. I'm sorry, mistake's too hard a word, but they should have done more with them because you know it's like, oh, here they are. You know, then when Riker shows up with the ship. with the ships and all that at the end to fight yeah. the Romulans, you know, and that's what I want to know. And I'll have to pay more attention to it when I watch it the second time. Is how far in the future is it from Next Generation and Voyager? Right, Let's find because that out. Yeah. the technology, of course, is was mind blowing. Right. You know, so Sean, I, they they have got to have a second one, a second season. They, they may, but I haven't heard. I heard they're going to go with the. There's two Star Trek series that they're working on on the CBS All Access, and it's one is linked to Discovery, um, other than Discovery, but they're going to go with the Captain Pike um, storyline. That would be good. And it's called Strange New Worlds, I think. That could be interesting. Um, And uh, we could uh, also um, see a Riker and Troy uh, show come good. out but yeah. overall and because we're going to have to wrap this episode up uh, I didn't want to blow you guys all away because there are probably still people on the ground saying Sean liked Picard yeah I know <laughs> I liked it I didn't love it I liked it um, I would rate it um, uh, 1 out of 10 I'm going to give it a 7.5 stars alright what about you Lori 7 7 I'm a 9 I loved it 7 and a 9 seven. Ah. <laughs> well there's our uh, little talk about uh Star Trek Picard, we hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, please uh, join us on our Facebook page and email us or whatever. We love 
to hear your comments. So for now, we're going to get out of here and engage the tractor beams and the warp drives and the trans warp drives. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode of This is Talking Sci-Fi with Sci-Fi Sean. Just Randy. And Lori. Bye. Welcome to Talking Sci-Fi. And your host and starring, Sci-Fi Sean, and Just Randy.